I've got a collection of images regards the shit show in Ukraine uh, that are on mainstream media, social media. I'm just going to go through them and show you the propaganda and the lies that we're being told. Uh, this image is circulating, being claimed it's a Russian plane that got taken out by Ukraine. It's actually a photo from an RAF air show that happened in 1993 in the UK. The plane caught fire. Look it up. Wow, the same person that was executed by the Taliban in Afghanistan is also the first American casualty in the Ukraine crisis. See how that works. CNN is the enemy of the people. Why lie? Go ahead and look at all the fact check sites saying these tweets never came from CNN. I found the original tweets from CNN and captured them. So there's this guy. Uh, it says CNN Afghanistan breaking. Journalist Bernie Gorse executed in Kabul by Taliban soldiers. We are working with US officials to get several more journalists out of Afghanistan at this time. Our thoughts are with Bernie's family. Uh, not sure what date that was, but you know, it was a while ago. But let's just go back to the current one. <laughs> CNN. We're sad to announce that the first American casualty of the Ukraine crisis has taken place. Thoughts and prayers with the family of activist Bernie Gores, same name, who passed away this morning after a mine planted by a Russian-backed separatist exploded. I mean, why would you use the same name? I mean, it's beyond belief, honestly. CNN, you are disgusting. They use the same name like people wouldn't remember. All right, to the next one. So we have this tweet, 25th of Feb, uh, just a few days ago. Uh, there's a couple of supposed Ukrainians saluting uh, Ukrainian soldiers with the Ukrainian flag. <laughs> Obviously, supposedly, uh, who've done their job on uh, the Russians, but let's just check this photo. Uh, there it is again. This is 2016. You can't make this shit up, honestly. You cannot make this shit up. They're just grabbing any photos they can. Oh, it's unbelievable. Then we got this one. 2017 video of explosion at Ukraine military depot shared as recent. Boom found that the video shows explosions at a military ammunition depot in central Ukraine in 2017. And there it is, 25th of February 2022. They're using the same one. Then we have this uh, President Zelensky. is instantly emerging before our eyes as one of history's best and most courageous leaders in the world. So this is it, 26th February 2022. Supposedly dressed up as a soldier fighting the Russians. But when was this, really? Uh, look at this. <laughs> New York Times, May 5th, 2021. You can't make this shit up. 2021. I don't know what he was doing there, but it definitely wasn't fighting the Russians in uh, February 25th, 2022. Uh, he's a goodie. This is, <laughs> this is a classic. Scared for his life while tourists take pictures in the background. <laughs> Look at this. Taking pictures in the background, and there's this clown from one of these TV networks with a fucking helmet on and he's probably got a duck for cover when he supposedly hears a scud missile or something going over his head. Oh, it's laughable. So what do we got here? In Tianjin, I think that says, China explosion 2015. Oh, that's a good one that we can use. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for, it's in German, but it says something about in the Ukraine, blah, blah, blah. Uh, well, obviously, it's to do with, uh, I can't really see the date, but it's obviously in Ukraine. They're using that as well. Unbelievable. Look at that. Exactly the same. So here it is. Here's the big one. Her blood on his hands. <laughs> Putin. All right. So here's the big one. Her blood on his hands. 
uh, put you to advise. This woman was plastered on just about every page, front page, newspaper, all around the world. But hang on, this is a gas explosion in Magnitogorsk, AM Jar, 2018, and there's her photo. There's her photo, put it on the building. But sorry, there's the building there. And sorry, go back here, that's the 2018 gas explosion with a photo on the building and they put it on here to say invasion to Ukraine unfreaking believable and another good one Fox News really aired a clip of Ukrainians with cardboard guns I'm done have a look at it look how thin they are the cardboard guns <laughs> look at the guys eyes <laughs> Oh, these two guys are fighting off the Russian army with cardboard guns. Come on, people. This is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, this one's small. Already. Ukrainian soldiers leaving their loved ones to fight for their country. Absolutely heartbreaking. Uh, but then here, the War of Chimeras. It's a freaking movie. It's a freaking movie. Not sure when it was made. Uh, it says, yeah, 2017. There is the same woman and the guy, and they're using that to make out that they're leaving to fight the Russians. Oh, how much more of this shit can we take? Let's just go back to this one I showed you before. Uh, the gas explosion one, the, the white building, uh, gas explosion in 2018. But let's just go ahead. <laughs> there it is again. Firefighters in Ukraine battle a blaze of thick smoke pouring out from a structure in whatever Ukraine after the building was reportedly shelled. 24th of February 22. The same freaking building. Look at that. There's this one here. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there are more. I'm sure there are more. Oh, it's just a joke, isn't it? Absolute joke. I have yet to see anyone shoot a bullet in this whole freaking supposed invasion. I've been watching live stream of four cities, uh, live cam, Kiev, Lviv, Dnipr, Kharkov. Cars are just driving around. No urgency. There's no uh, air raid sirens. Actually, there was an air raid siren. It could just be there. <laughs> to make it look like there's something happening, but there's no bombs or missiles going across the sky, and this has been happening for the last four days. Wake up, world. This is an absolute freaking joke. If you think that this isn't possible to stage a war like this, well, go watch the movie Wag the Dog, okay? It's a movie from the night, I think it's 1990-something, with Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, and you'll see how exactly they do this uh, with the controlled mainstream media. You can do anything. You can do anything, and the world will believe it. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's it for now for the shit show.